Hello folks, this new dual boss is located on the right side of Fontaine. When you get here, you'll see them dancing around, but you can't fight them. To do so, you need to talk to the cameraman to start the fight. And you pick between fighting Coppelia or Coppelius. The lady drops the dark material and the gentleman drops the light one. And you know the rule, ladies first. At the start of both fights, they'll bow a little so you get some free time to do some damage. After that, they start the pattern. Each boss has three normal attacks and a special gimmick one. This first one is the Ring of Ice, where she twirls her partner around and it hits twice. You can dash out of it, go back in to hit, do some damage and dash out again, or just dodge one of the rings and tough through the next one. You can always just stay out until both rings are over. This next attack is the Ice Cone. He twirls the gentleman and he'll do a linear attack. Dash to the side to avoid it, but don't go back in too quick because it does have an AoE. And as you can see, all their attacks start with a twirl or motion, so when you see them move quickly, dash out of the way. The last one is a quick double attack. This is their fastest attack with the least startup, so it can be hard to dodge, but it does very little damage, so no big worries here. And now for their gimmick attack. They will separate and the lady will take center stage. They will summon three vortex and the gentleman will shoot two ice slashes at you. If you stay in the middle, you get knocked back and take a lot of damage from the lady. After the gentleman does the two ice spikes, he'll come back to the middle and rejoin and then separate again, and they'll do this three times. If you don't want to take damage, then you might want to stay outside, but this does eat a lot of time, which will hurt, especially in the spiral abyss later on. So the trick to make this phase faster is to hit the lady with a Numa attack. And Numa is a new thing in Fontaine. Only three characters have these special attacks so far, and they are Linny, Lynette, and the Hydro Traveler. The lady is weak against Numa, so if you use Linny or the Hydro Traveler to hit them with their ability, then you can stop the phase and go to the next sequence. You do need to hit them three times to fully end this gimmick phase since they do it three times. But knocking them out is a little quicker, and you disable her AoE knockback so you can do more damage at the same time. Hitting them with the weakness will also give you one of the achievements. Now on to the gentleman's turn. We start off with a double attack that is pretty much the same as the other version. It's still very fast and hard to dodge, but still does very little damage. The next attack is a wind AoE around them. It might look fast at first, but there's a big tail. They look at each other and bow before they do this attack. So when you see them turn to each other, just dash out beforehand to avoid it. And the final pattern is a tossing twirl. He will elegantly toss his partner and you'll see her AoE landing spot which is pretty small. The lady also lands far away so you can stick on the boss and attack him the whole entire time when he does his twirl. Now for the gimmick. This time the gentleman takes center stage and he'll get an ice shield. He'll spawn three pylons again and the lady will go out to shoot three wind slashes. And like before, if you stay in the middle, you take a lot of damage from the gentleman. And once again, they will do this three times. But we can counter this with a similar trick. The gentleman is weak against Usia attack, so Lynette's elemental skill can break the ice shield in one hit. This will skip a little bit and make the next phase come a little faster. You can also break the cryo shield by hitting it with enough pyro. It has the same effect as hitting him with an Usia attack, but you don't get the achievement. And that's all the patterns for these two bosses. Not much overall, but could waste a lot of time in future Spiral Abyss without the proper counters. And like always, I'll end this video with a quick kill. If you have a strong enough team, you can just ignore everything. This is fine for the regular boss, but you might need to be a little gooder to face them in the Spiral Abyss. Anyway, thanks for watching, and have fun out there, Traveler.